In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make around 2.5 million credits in less than 15 minutes. It is a method and not a glitch, so you don't have to worry about being banned or anything like that, but you're still going to be getting money so freaking fast that it's going to feel like a glitch. I haven't seen anything on YouTube, but according to some of my subscribers, someone else has made a YouTube video on this before, but I just figured if I can help you know, disseminate this information, uh, then I'm going to do my part. It's definitely something a lot of you guys are going to find value in, so let's get right into it. Now the glitch is going to use a little bit of your skill points, but I'm going to show you how to make so many skill points so quickly and so easily that it's not going to matter. As you guys see, I'm topped out at over 999 available points and I'll show you guys how to do the same. There's two really good methods. Now the one that I like isn't the best way to make skill points, but you're making skill points, you're gaining a ton of money and influence all at the same time. Now to do that method, you're gonna wanna get the MC12 Forza Edition. You can get this by buying the old Maserati 300S, I believe. It's a Maserati 300 something. You'll be able to find it pretty easily. Be sure to buy it from the auto show and not the auction block because it's important that your car mastery is freed up. Now in the car mastery for the Maserati 300, we'll just call it that, you're gonna see something near the top that will allow you to get the MC12 Forza Edition. Fill out the skill train path up to that MC12 Forza Edition, get the car. I want you guys to get Don Juan Song's X-Class tune, or if you wanna make your own tune, that works. Max out all the skill point stuff here. That's very important and it's gonna be huge. As you can see here, skills banked while racing your car gain 200% influence bonus. Like You really wanna have all these if you're gonna use this method. It's just really beneficial. Once you do that, be sure to add me as a friend on Xbox. You can see my name is up there, Mac V Gaming. Now, Dong Zhuang Song has made a very, very similar track as well. Mine is a little bit more efficient, so if you want to use mine, feel free. If you feel like supporting him and using his, that's fine as well. But either way, you're going to add me or you can add Dong Zhuang Song if you feel like. Go to Friends and Followed. In, so you're at your blueprints, guys. Go to your blueprint events. Go to Search. Go to Friends and Followed. Go to Custom. And then go to Summer. If you have one of us as a friend, you're going to get one of these money grind, influence grind, XP, all the above grind tracks, and I'll show you. It's not going to show up for me because, of course, it's not going to show me my own tracks that I already have access to, but I'm going to do one lap around the track just to show you guys how incredibly efficient this is at making you influence. All right, so here we are in the race right now. As you guys can see, a lot of the competition isn't really that impressive. Now, you don't have to use the Maserati MC12 Forza Edition. You can also do incredibly well with the McLaren F1 GT. They both have pros and cons. McLaren F1 GT is faster and therefore a little bit better for banking skill chains. Now, one thing you guys just know is I still have my skill chain even after that collision when I was trying to squeeze by. That's one of your car mastery perks that allows you to keep it and that's really nice to have. That's going to save you a lot of big skill chains. And as you can see, we're already up to time seven. We have 30K in a matter of 30 seconds. Absolutely ridiculous how fast we're gaining this skill chain and how many skill points we're gonna get from a single lap on here. I have the computer set up to drive like complete idiots so you guys don't have to worry about beating them. But yeah, if you want, use the F1 GT. Or if not, I would definitely recommend the Maserati MC12 Forza Edition. Again, if you want to gain skill chain faster, you can grab a PLP 50 and just kind of hoon around, like drift all over the place. And before you know it, you will have a times eight skill chain and be gaining skill points at a ridiculous, ridiculous speed. But I'm showing you guys hopefully the best line through this track so you guys don't have to worry about making many mistakes or learning it. It's pretty straightforward. Dong Zhuang songs will have you going all the way around this roundabout which is just a little bit harder to keep your skill chain. Here, you just pull a quick Yui, and you're back on the track headed in the other direction. Now, to keep your skill chain, you can just throw in some little drifts here and there. You need to get it over 300 kilometers an hour 
to keep the skill chain just with driving regularly. So keep that in mind if you're trying to maintain your skill chain for a long time. And then we're just going to keep this going. I, I would bank it. I believe you guys probably should bank it at 72k. But for the sake of showing you how long a lap takes and just kind of showing you how many skill, how big this skill chain is going to get, I'll just keep it going until the end. Coming up to 100k in less than 3 minutes. I like to get on the brake here so we can come through this a little bit under control. You're going to brake some stuff so your skill chain won't go anywhere on you. And then brake hard before this little ridge. And it's just a little bit easier to navigate than Dong Zhuang Song's track. Just a little bit of an improvement over it. And we're finished with a pretty massive skill chain that we actually never lost throughout the whole lap. That lap took me 3 minutes and 12 seconds. When you're getting that rolling start through there, you're going to be able to finish these laps with the Maserati MC12 in about 3 minutes 8 seconds. And then with the McLaren F1 GT, you're looking at easily under 3 minutes per lap. You're gonna get, we're going to get some nice credits from this as well. 52,000 credits, not bad at all, especially considering it's only 3 minutes. And then influence, again, not bad at all, 15,000. And you can just do a 50 lap race of this, takes you like two and a half hours. You're going to have a ridiculous amount of money, credits, and skill points. But again, this is not the method. This is just the most efficient and best way to go after skill points, in my opinion. So once you guys are satisfied with how many skill points you have, and again, this is something you'll gain on your own. I don't even grind that race often. I know that's the best way to do it. But in reality, I just live stream and play the game like anyone else would play it, playing infected races, all that kind of stuff. So you should already have quite a bit of skill points banked on your own. But you want to go to the festival, and we're going to do this together. I'm going to show you guys the time before we start, and then show you the time when we finish, because the amount of money we are about to make is going to be absolutely insane. Alright, so we're going to do this together. As you guys can see, it is 617 right now, and we're going to start this up. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing and kind of walk you through how to do it on your own. First thing I want to do is go to the auto show, go to Porsche, and you're looking for this, the 911 Turbo 3.3. Now, you're going to buy 10 of these really quick. You can buy as many as you want, but just to show you how much we can make in less than 15 minutes, we're going to buy 10. I'm going to buy two of each color. So, I'm going to buy 10 cars total and have them in pairs of two. I'm gonna have two red, two blue, etc., etc. That makes the organization a whole lot easier and allows you to burn through this really quick. Now, ultimately, what we're doing, let me buy these cars. So, I'm gonna go back to Porsche, going back to the auto show here, going to Porsche, back over to the same car. I'm gonna buy it one more time in red. And then, for example, I would move on to brown next and buy two of those. We're just going to time lapse this really quick so we can get to what to do after you've bought a bunch of pairs of Porsches. Alright, so we're just buying the last Porsche now. So we go back, go to browse all, push the select button to go to Porsche, and grab the last Porsche that we're going to put in blue to match the other one we just bought. Let's buy this. Okay, so there's our last one, and it is only 622. I believe it was 617 when we started. Now, once we have all the Porsches, we already have one in hand, so we're going to go and jump right into it. You grab the first Porsche, so we have the last blue one we just bought, and we're going to start to fill up this tree going up to the top left corner. Now, you can grab that wheel spin as well, and I would recommend doing it. It only costs one skill point. But as you can see, you can only hold 999 available points, so you might as well use them on grinding money. Because, uh, yeah, you can't hold any more. So we're going to grab that wheel spin. Sometimes it prompts you to go through. I believe if you're in the auto show, you can actually just save your wheel spins. Now you're going to go to my garage because you have these Porsches. We have the one blue one selected. This is where the pairs come in. The Porsche's right here. We're going to look for the other blue one because we know we haven't done it. Now when we're done, this blue one, 
we know the blue ones are just done and we don't have to grab them anymore so it makes it really simple you have one of the pair once you finish that one you grab the other one that is like its twin <laughs> you're done with them you move on to the next color it just makes it nice and organized you don't you're not going to end up grabbing a Porsche that you already did before and wasting time and like this we're going to start to make our money back now i believe we were at 22.4 mil before just under 22.4 mil before and I'm gonna show you guys what we finished at, especially after these wheel spins, which is included into the time, so don't worry about that. We'll do red next. So the blue ones are done, we'll move on to the red, and you guys kinda get the picture, so let's start to time lapse this. Coming to the end here, as you can see, it costed me exactly 200 skill points. We went from 22.4 mil up to 23.9, so we gained a nice 1.5-ish mil, if I'm doing my math correctly. But we also have a crap ton of wheel spins. If you guys didn't notice, I was completely fresh out of wheel spins before we started this, and now we have 13. I am including the wheel spins in the time. Now this is where the variance comes in. This isn't black and white. You're gonna get cars, you could get something really rare, but you're likely gonna get some money from this as well. And hopefully we do, so we can get over that two mil mark. But it'll it'll vary, right? Sometimes you get some really nice wheel spins and sometimes you won't. But overall, this is an incredibly fast way to make money in the game. And right now, if I check the time, it is. 6.30 and it was 6.17 when we started. Last wheel spin, big money, 40k, that's not bad. Alright, so we ended off at 24.2 mil from 22.4 mil. See my money right here, uh, and I, nah, my math isn't that good, but 20, let me see, 22.4 mil, so you have 0.6 plus 1. Plus, you have we gained 1.8 mil. If my math is correct, I think we gained 1.8 mil in a very small amount of time. Again, started this at 6:17 p.m. and now it is 6:30, which would be, I believe, 13 minutes it took us to gain around two mil. And if you're luckier with the wheel spins, you could get more or less than that. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. Another thing is, once you're done that. You can put these porches on the auction house. They're not super easy to sell, but you can do it. And uh, I would definitely recommend it. If you have the patience, just keep throwing them up there for the cheapest price. And you can make another 500k just off the porches after you get them sold. Or you can just drive them around. I mean, they're a pretty cool car as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have more very informative videos coming out. I want to make more of these. Just because they're, one, they're easier to make. And two, I want to get the you know valuable information out to you guys. So next, I'm going to be showing you guys a car that is faster, much faster than the MC12 Forza Edition around Goliath. So I'll be showing you guys that in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell. Hope you guys enjoy. Take it easy. I'm out.